just kidding. Hey everybody, CK here. And today I am filming in a different spot, as you can see. And we are gonna do some reorganization. A lot of you guys have been asking me to see my makeup collection. Now mind you, I'm not about to show everything, okay? But I do have some new items from Original Beauty Box and I am going to incorporate them in my new makeup setup because if y'all follow me on Snapchat, if you don't, I encourage that you do, okay? But on my Snapchat, I talk all about the fact that I need more storage space. And it's not just gonna stop here, but you gotta start somewhere. So let me show you. So this acrylic container is from Original Beauty Box, and this is their Deluxe Beauty Box, but they do have one that's bigger than this, and it is called the Pro Beauty Box, but I was a little scared to get that because I didn't want it to be too ginormous. So this is what we're working with. So I am going to remove all of this stuff up here, and then, we're just gonna see where it goes. Cause I have an idea of what I wanna do, but my shelves may be in the way. So you guys, you are really about to like be on this little journey with me, all right? So let's go. This is something that Mini Me One made for me and it says confidence is key. decided for now <laughs> we have rearranged some stuff all these color pops we are going to move them up to here <music> color pop eyeshadows and blushes are all in this drawer guys all of it I will like do a close-up after I'm all done and everything but as for now I am moving all of the ColourPop gels that I have. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Yay, now what's next? I am not doing that by color right now. Maybe on another day. Then it doubles up. Can I double it up? Let's see. Oh yes, it doubles up. It doubles up. Look it, this is working. It does look colorful, it does look cute. So we have the eyeshadows and the blushes, and then we have the gels, and then there's the lippies. So, what Minnie said we're gonna do now, this may, this is subject to change, but I'm gonna put the satins and the mattes on one side, and I'm gonna put the glosses on another side. you guys as I was getting ColourPop already in here why did I just find a whole nother drawer of ColourPop I really do need to reorganize and put everything together so I'm kind of glad we're doing this so these are the metallics the ultra metallics and these are my okay oh my lord I did not know this they may take up like 50,000 drawers we have over there and now it is time for makeup geek pigments and makeup geek glitters and everything makeup geek. Okay, you guys, we are done for the day and I feel like I'm sparkling or glistening because like it's really hot and we've been working. I mean, but I've had some help. So thank you, Minnie. Thank you, Minnie, Minnie, me. All right, so we're gonna bring you on in so you can see what we've done to the place. I sound like I'm on, um, what's that show? What is that show? What is that show? MTV, what? MTV Cribs, come on in. <laughs> But I put my Milani lippies here. I have some palettes right there. I still have the brushes up here because I do love having those on display. And up here, I haven't done much with these drawers actually, but I do have my Too Faced concealers and my LA Girl concealers right here. And then these are more eyeliner pencils, which I really didn't do much to this drawer. These are my Lancome stick foundations. I have put some of my highlighters in this drawer all by themselves. The Becca and the Balm. We have the foundations, like all the same. I haven't done anything with that. But up here, and it's a tight fit, y'all, but we made it work out. So these are all my ColourPop lippy sticks, okay? So we put them all up here. It's a tight fit. 
it's tight but it's right and then this drawer right here these are all of my color pop lippies these are the matte and the satins and these are the metallic and the lip glosses and this drawer is color pop too but these are the color pop minis these are the color pop brow items all right here which i may consolidate or do something with this area not sure but hey we got to put away and then down here these are oh my gosh these are no these are the glosses i think okay let me run it back satin and mattes and there's some satin here and then they're metallics and then all down here are all the glosses and these are all the gel pots from ColourPop, the cream gels okay and all down here guys yes yes i'm definitely gonna need more storage but for now we're doing great these are all my ColourPop blushes and eyeshadows all right these two black compartments actually came from the original beauty box, the same place these came from. And so down here, I have all of my MAC highlighters. And right here, I have all of my Ofra highlighters. And this is the one I'm wearing today, in case you were wondering. This is the Beverly Hills highlighter. I'm rocking that shade. And in here, I haven't done much to this area. Well, I kind of did. But this is just extra stuff. We're not going to talk about that. But I have some of my lashes in this drawer. And then right here, this is like the overflow as well. And then down here, some of the palettes, some of my setting powders. And down here, we just kind of reorganized a little bit. These are still lipsticks. Y'all, I own a lot of lippies. And then I have some of my, um, my lipstick palettes in this drawer. And then some contour kits that I plan to do a video on, well, possibly. And then just more palettes and some more lipstick back there, y'all. And then over here, I'm not going to go into that because this is like my backup stuff, some stuff that I use when I actually do freelance makeup. And then up here, we just kind of did a little bit. This is just some palettes. I'm not going to go into that too much. This is some more like liners, um, highlighters and different things like that. Didn't do much organizing there. And right here, these are some of the setting powders that I would use to set under my eye. And I am going to be doing a video on these soon. Don't know when yet. Still working on that and empty empty can y'all believe it and then these are some of the new l'oreal palettes that i got i just put them right here and look you guys i actually have room so you can tell that some progress has happened so down here i actually want my bh on the top because i use it like a whole lot i'm gonna put this over here the bh cosmetics palette the black radiance palette the um nikki tutorial palette i just got and then in this drawer, this is all Too Faced products. This is their Melted Lippies, Melted Matte, and then their Lamattes. And then in this drawer, all right here, this is all Makeup Geek, okay? So this is the Kathleen Lights palette, the highlighter palette, which I will show you because it is new. There you go. Bomb, bomb, bomb. My fave, hands down. Right there. I think it's called Sunlight. Bomb. Okay, and then I have my Makeup Geek Contours, I have the Makeup Geek Manny MUA palette, and then I have my Makeup Geek Sparklers, some blushes, some pigments, all that good stuff in there. And then in here, we have all of my Ofra lippies, like all of my Ofra lippies. Did I say that? <laughs> I can't even talk right, I'm tired now. So in here, I have all of my Ofra lippies, and then I have some of their uh, lid glazes or eyeshadow bases, I think you would call it. I think it's called Ice or something. Anyway, so that's what's in there. And as you can see, we made more progress here as well, okay? Empty, empty, yes. The Tartelet in the Bloom palette. I think I've only used that once, guys. And then right here, I have my City Colors Timeless Beauty palette and a couple of products from It Cosmetics. And then in this drawer, I have all of my Becca blushes, except one, because I'm doing another video, and then a couple of highlighters in there. And then my ColourPop lippies, NYX lippies, MAC lippies, ColourPop eyeliners, Too Faced eyeliners, right? And then up here, you guys, my beauty blender sponges. I had to move up here because there was no room here. And I'm a little sad about it, but we'll see how I can work that out. And then I have my chocolate bar palettes up there. And then these are some extra palettes, which I need to do some more reorganizing up there. And then over here, I just have, oh, maybe I can make that look a little pretty. Well, there you go. Anyway, and then I have some more lipsticks and I just have some matte concealers back there. I have some extra brushes over there. And then this is like overage of like mascaras and liners and stuff like that. Oh, and that's my picture from my first ever meet and greet at MAC. And I just wanted to keep that for like, you know, sentimental reasons. So I need to sit down for a second because listen, 
I'm tired. I didn't realize it was going to take all that. So now I'm going to go ahead and film another video. But um, I'm going to film a video because I don't know which one is going to go up first. But I'm going to do a video on my ride or die makeup products. And I am rocking them all today. Okay. So anyway, this video was long enough. I do not want to hold you guys. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you for all of your love and support. And you guys have an awesome, blessed day. And I will see you sooner than you think. Bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.